ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vase Play Star Wars Drop. So I'm going to take up the Sorcerer because um, I'd like to continue the discussion that we had in the previous episode. If you guys missed that, we were discussing the classes that got in and the classes that didn't get in and the reasons as to why and things like that. So I was informed that I had omitted something uh, when discussing the Beastkeeper. I had forgotten that they had mentioned that she was going to be more early access to the co-op or better at the co-op, I, I forget the exact wording, um, but co-op, you know, friendly, as it were. Um, I don't necessarily think that that's the only reason. Um, it seems to be the consensus that is is the, the major reason. Um, I, I don't know if I can make the speculation um, like that, but, uh, you know, I, I, I can see the, the logic behind it. Um, if, if it was uh, for that reason. So I'm, I, I don't necessarily doubt that, but I don't know. I'll, I'll let other people make those statements. Um, so, so yeah, so the classes that didn't get in, the Huntsman, um, the Templar, and the Bard. Um, it's, I think it's a real shame that the Bard didn't get in, as I mentioned in the last episode. Um, the, the Bard definitely was my, my favorite pick. Um, I like the Elementalist because I, I like magic, and I, I like cl characters like that. Um, I was hoping he'd be another ranged character, but it doesn't seem like he's going to be. Um, he's going to be mid-range, which is, is fine, you know, I'm, it's not the end of the world that he's not going to play out the, the way I was hoping he'd play out. Um, the, well, well, the, the neat thing is that we'll still see items from these characters, and again, if the game does well enough, and it's, it's very early to, to be talking about expansions um, in any any shape or form uh, with definitiveness. Right. Um, that yeah, Just keep that in mind. Um, we'll have spear items, we'll have bows, and we'll have instruments. Um, I, I really can't fathom why the bard didn't win. I, I guess there's some... I mean, even I have it in Dungeons and Dragons. I'm not a fan of the Bard. In, in fact, I generally malign Bards pretty bad. So I, I guess there there may be some ulterior motivation as to why she wasn't a very big fan favorite. She was definitely the forum. Ooh, sorry for shouting. Uh, she was definitely the forum favorite. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better if I can start screaming and yelling into the mic. Um, yeah, she was definitely the forum favorite, and as far as I've seen, she was definitely the the top build character from the the Dover's Drop team. I think they were very surprised and very sad that um, she didn't get in. Um, in, in fact, I, I, I don't want to go on record saying this because I don't, again, nothing definitive, but um, if there were to be DLC slash expansions to this game, I'm pretty sure the first extra class that got added would be the Bard. Um, I, I, I can't, again, I can't say that with 100% confidence, but I'm confident enough to say that I'm pretty sure that is going to happen. Um, so, if there's expansions. Um, something else that I, I haven't mentioned is there were like 37 or 38 classes. I think it was a, it was an even number. It wasn't a round, an odd number. Uh, so, like, 36, 38 character classes that were selected um, to be picked and vote. Not all of them, obviously, uh, made it onto anything even close to resembling a final vote. Um... They narrowed, you know, six, 37, 38 classes, again, uh, 36 to 38 classes, down to six. Um, and that is definitely not an easy thing to do. Um, I, I've asked Kobe and, and Ryan Baker, the devs, individually um, at certain different times, uh, what, what class they were most sad didn't go to the vote? Like, what class did they, you know... Are they sad that didn't leave the chopping block, the drawing board, as I, I put it? Um, Kobe mentioned the butcher, who would be super slidey, you know, covered in blood and grease of his enemies, which I like. I like that idea a lot. Um, I'm, I, I just think it's really flavorful. Haha, <laughs> food pun. Um, 
So I, I hope we can see a character like that come in. Um, Baker mentioned like an arcane swordsman of types. Um, and I think that'd be pretty cool too. A non-religious paladin, as it were, I think is a pretty good way of putting an arcane swordsman. Um, Two-handed weapons, you know, big sweeping attacks. It, it sounds really cool. I would definitely like to see that. Um, another class that didn't get in off the drawing board is the Witch. Um, Vacant Psalm, a member of the forum community, is a big fan of her. Um, the one that I really wanted was the Merc Romancer, because I felt that, and I, I've talked about the Merc Romancer before, it's this, you know, nasty, elementalist kind of character, um, who uses this destructive, corrosive element known as Merc, which is um, very big in the lore um, to attack. Kind of like an evil waterbender from the sounds of it, which is cool um, if you guys are knowledgeable on Avatar. Definitely um, in that vein. Um, so I, I just think that would, oh, well, dead end. Um, I just think that would have been a really cool um, character uh, because it, it is so lore -y. There, there was also the cleric, which I actually would like to like to have seen get in. Uh, I have a feeling that had the Templar gotten in, the cleric might have influenced the lore of that character. What, what we have, what I haven't mentioned, um, is kind of the, the development of some of the characters. The Beast Keeper and the Elementalist were not originally those classes, and since we're talking about classes that were um, perhaps on the drawing table, but did not get in. Um, definitely these are some of those. Uh, the Druid and the Shaman were these, these classes. Um, and they, they didn't make it in for, for one reason or another. Um, but they became what they are today and what they are now. Um, which is cool. I, I like that kind of development cycle. I like seeing the the way it progresses like that. Um, and different aspects of the shaman and different aspects of the druid got integrated into different aspects of the beastkeeper and different aspects of the elementalist. Um, and it's important to note in the lore, beastkeepers and elementalists actually sometimes interact with each other in, in roving Roma bands. Um, I use Roma, you know, as a gypsy. Um, so that's, to me, that's really cool being of that line. Um, so yeah, and I, I think I mentioned this before, the Assassin wasn't originally the Assassin. Um, there was a Death Dealer class that was originally in the, the works, and that is kind of where she came from. Um, there, there, were, uh, there was a Shogun class, but I, I think they've moved on from using perhaps real life analogies. I know the assassin is going to have some some Japanese ninja style weapons, um, but not in any any capacity. You know, they're not going to be named. You know, uh, um, there we go. Okay was worried there for a second. Uh, you always have to be careful. Oh, but yeah. So, ooh, there's some bloom here. Um, hopefully this will be solved in the next update. Um, it has gone. It has been reported. So, so yeah. So, it, it's neat to me to see these, these characters kind of live on, having known the development cycle a little bit, perhaps a little bit more intimately than some other people that are, that are covering this game. Which is, you know, definitely fine. There, there are um, valid enough moment reasons to to have both kind of coverages. Uh, but yeah, so I, again, I I really wish the Mercromancer had gotten in, and even if he kind of had been cannibalized to a more witch-like character, I think I'd have I would have been pretty happy with that. I, I would like to see a, an entity. Ooh, nope. Use Merc. As a weapon, and it, it will be in the game insofar as oh, uh, good, you've uh, let's let's sort you out first. Um, all right, uh, I think I can actually get to you. 
All right. Awesome. And uh, trick room. Cool. So yeah, I, 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 there will be elemental weapons, and we will have merc weapons. I imagine. Um, it's it's hard to say at this point. I am if there's gonna if there's gonna nine gonna be nine elements. I imagine we'll have a weapon for each. Uh, the ability to get a weapon of each element, which is gonna be cool. Um, if I remember properly, elemental weapons will actually interact with enemies differently. I don't know if that's still in the works. I hope it is because I think that's a really fascinating element. Um, and it kind of ties in more of that Borderlands style weapons system that I've discussed before. Um, I, I think I've, I've mentioned this way, way, way early in the development cycle um, and video cycle. Um, the Candle Wraiths, if hit with a font, font weapon, apologies, um, their fire will go out. And to me, that that is the penultimate execution of this game. I think that's that's innovative, it's really awesome, it's flavorful, and it makes sense. How many games have you played where, like, I have a, a water-based weapon and I'm, I'm fighting this fire-based weapon, why am I not dousing them? Um, and I, I think that that answer should, should be answered. And I, I think that it's going to be with, with Delver's Drop. Um, no idea how other elemental el elements will interact with one another. Um, there will be status effects, which I haven't really talked about, and we'll, we'll talk about that in another video, since we're kind of keeping this to, to classes and, and, and whatnot. All right, that is uh, how you do it, guys. Where did you go, Mr. Spider? There you are. Cool, okay. Cool, all right. And uh, Trigger Room, so this has been a really uh, really fast run, actually. Um, or at least it felt fast because I've been babbling my fucking head off. Apologies for the language. So yeah, um, I, I'm really sad I didn't vote for the Templar because... The, the more that I, I dwell on him, the more I really think he would have been a fascinating character. Um, and I, I, I wish I hadn't let my prejudices of a melee-inspired character uh, get the best of me. So I think we're going to leave the discussion there for now. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with more in-depth discussion, because as this game progresses, that is how we'll go. So uh, as always, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>